Boo. That scare ya? You scared yet? Okay, well, of course that wouldn't scare you, but... What the fuck would scare a Yu-Gi-Oh player? Ah, got it. More Charmy for Wallow's price in 2024! <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's Royal YG coming at you with a brand new video, and happy Halloween to those watching this video on the day it comes out. And I asked a question on my Twitter, which you should totally check out for news, channel updates, shit posts, and more, uh, about what decks other than ghost trick because everyone's done that deck to death by now including myself would you consider spooky and in theme for halloween and i saw a bunch including a bunch that were completely random i'm looking at you people that suggested plunder patrol uh but the best one and the one i actually have experience messing around with because i think it's really funny was skull servant and y'all this is this is a deck you can play uh <laughs> it sure is now, I'm just hopping on to do some really silly, goofy, funny EDO plays. I'm not expecting to win very much with this. A few moments later. Can I just have one win? Can I please just have one win for the camera? I mean, it's blind second 60 card pile skull servant. Like, uh, all you really need to know, I'm not going to do much of a breakdown, is that most of these cards aren't hard ones per turn. This guy gets really, really big and punches super hard. Uh, Mizuki is Mizuki. We got Dangers in here and Horus cards to get big level 8s out to make Zombie Vampire and sometimes Numeron Dragon um, and uh, discard cards. And I guess I just randomly threw in Molcharmy's last second and Droplets to have non-engine and get the 60 cards. And uh, yeah... Uh, happy Halloween! We're gonna go ahead and get into some games with this. First person here is Moralord, something like that. Uh, we lose the rock, paper, scissors, that's fine. Skull Servant to the top, baby. We're blinding second anyway, and this hand fucking sucks. Uh, we're playing against Umi. So at least they're not gonna set up like a whole bunch of disruptions, probably just like a couple here. Electric Jellyfish is gonna dump something. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I don't want to use fucking White Princess. Uh, and that special the water from hand. Armed Sea Hunter? <laughs> I've not seen this card since I was like nine years old. What the hell? Okay, top deck White Lord. This is actually a little bit better. Uh, thankfully. We're gonna normal summon White Princess. Uh, she's gonna dump White Prince, hopefully. And, uh, that'll dump two more things. And if we get negated here, I might just cry because this is basically my only play. Oh, cool. They actually let it go through. Uh, let's go ahead and dump the White Prince. White Prince is going to dump two more. Uh, I wonder if I'm going to use... I'm, I'm trying to think of, like, what music to use. If I should use my generic stuff or try to find some royalty-free Halloween stuff. <laughs> I'll go ahead and dump Skull Servant, dump Lady in White. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead... Fortunately, she's a level 3. I really wish she was a level 1. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, pitch White Lord to try and mill some more cards. They're really holding on to that Electric Jellyfish. Probably just because I have so many cards in hand, to be fair. But all of them are fucking dead. <laughs> oh my god, this deck... I was planning on getting some really funny hands to show that this deck is actually kind of something. But <laughs> this is one of the worst possible hands I probably could have gotten. Uh, we're going to go ahead and mill four, I guess. He's just going to let that go through. I don't think it's doing too much for me, unfortunately. Uh, we do get to go White Lord if we want. It can summon a Skull Servant, but that doesn't really do anything. Uh, unless we summon back a White Prince. Ooh, actually, that could be a good play. Let's go White Lord, summon back White Prince. I know what I'm going to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Okay. Uh, so they're going to use the electric jellyfish. That's, I don't, I don't want to say that's fine because I mean our, our plays are kind of ass. Um, but let's go ahead and go white princess, make everything lose some stats. Let's go white prince, get rid of you, get rid of you because we can bring you back later with the uh, white mare, and we can summon the king of the skull servants. And he's actually kind of small compared to usual. <laughs> oh man, this is too funny. Uh, let's go ahead and attempt battle phase. <laughs> Try to punch over the electric jellyfish here. If I can get rid of it, that'd be pretty cool. So don't have to worry about it. Okay, that's pretty helpful. Uh, we'll go main phase two, set a card, I guess, uh, pass turn. 
Oh, I could have punched her for the RMC Hunter, then went relinquish anima, eat that. Damn. Okay, I could have done that and at least gotten, like, rid of some more stuff. Okay, Virtue Stream. You know what? Fair enough. That's completely valid. Uh, at least I hope they don't top deck anything too crazy. Um, okay, so this might actually not be as hard as I thought it would be. Uh, def <laughs> Giant Red Sea Snake. I guess this is the normal monster of choice instead of the, um, uh, what is it? Uh, Giga Gaga Gigo or whatever. I'm gonna take 2k, that's fine. Uh, I think we're actually in a decent spot here. We get to normal summon White Prince next turn, link off into Anima. Anima can't eat, unfortunately, but we do get to dump two more things, and we can summon another, um, King of the Skull Servants, who will be a decent size. So let's go ahead and normal summon here, link off into our Relinquished Anima, and, uh, hopefully that's not another Virtue Stream. That would suck if he was playing multiple. Uh, trigger our White Prince here. Uh, and I'm not talking about Mono Blue Tron. Let's go ahead and dump our Skull Servant, dump our Lady in White. And then we'll go White Prince. Uh, banish, Banish. Summon another King of the Skull Servants, because why not? Uh, hopefully it's not a column-based card. Uh, do we... I think we just punch Go SP? I think that's what we do. Maybe. <laughs> okay, I was about to say, I hope this back row doesn't do anything, but okay. Uh, change attack to zero, negate its effect, can't change its battle position. Man, fuck you! My fucking king of the skull servants, dude. What the hell? Okay. Oh, he has an effect? You know what's really funny, y'all? I did not know he had an effect when he was destroyed by battle. Because it never comes up. That's actually really funny. I've never seen this effect before in my fucking life. Alright, we're gonna go SP, SP, banish the ice barrier. So he has to use it now if he wants to use it, period, but he only gets, he gets to discard it, like, right after uh, whatever he searches. So I'm kind of just, like, baiting it out right now. I mean, I'm stupid, actually. He doesn't do that. What the fuck am I thinking? I just gave him free shit. I thought it was add a thing, discard a thing. I'm... I am so incredibly stupid. Chat, I might be cooked. Yeah, I'm gonna scoop it up here. First loss of the day, Umi Control. Well, we got a person uh, apparently testing right now and we're going to win the rock, paper, scissors, but we're blind in second anyway, baby. And this hand isn't bad, actually. I mean, if we can droplet some things, we can hit the White Prince and the Skull Servant out of our hand. White Prince dumped two more things. We have a Nessie to try and rip this Duamatef out of our hand. Uh, hopefully we can dig for something like an Imseti. We do get to draw one more card, and it's Labyrinth of all things. Okay, Ariana Lady in one face down. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm gonna hold on to the droplet, preferably. Uh, sucks though, because if I use if I use Nessie here and I rip the droplet, that's gonna fucking blow. Fuck it, let's go gambling! Are you fucking for real? Not only did it hit my one fucking board breaker that could have saved me, it also drew me into another one of Brick Horus monster. Why are we here? Just to suffer. You Dick, you're bouncing my white prince, bro. Who does that? Okay, we'll go. Uh, we'll just pass turn here. Uh, surely I won't get OTK. It's fine. We are staring down a welcome, a big welcome, and an imperm with Lovely and Ariana on board. And another face down. And uh, a lady in hand. There she is. Nah, I'd win. This is not the top deck that I needed. Normal summon white prince, baby. Why is he playing shifter in his lab deck?
all of that just to flip Karma Cannon anyway. Okay. Okay, this hand's actually good. This is like actually a good hand. We have Obseti, we have White Baking. We okay, this one's playable. This one's playable. We have a bunch of dangers in hand. Sucks seeing Duamatef, but we can probably get it discarded. I get a thousand life points for free because my opponent's feeling generous, giving me a treat this Halloween. And it's Sky Striker, great. Oh my god, it's Orcus Sky Striker in the year of our Lord 2024. Holy shit. You know, honestly, this is just incredibly based. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is sick. He took control of the token to make an IP. That's that's actually dope as fuck, not gonna lie. Okay. Uh, let's go gambling! Uh, very high likely to hit a Bigfoot, unfortunately. So let's not hit the Bigfoot, cool. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and special there. Effect of Mothman, sucks seeing the Purulian now. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, we see another one. Insane. Let's go gambling part two! <laughs> Damn, okay, we actually hit the Bigfoot this time. Uh, gotta hit the Babel here. If I don't hit the Babel here, then he's just gonna start popping off with a bunch of effects. Yeah, okay. Gotta use the Crescendo, otherwise, you know, obviously he loses it. Uh, let's go gambling part three! Chat, we're not drawing good cards. We're not drawing any good fucking cards. <laughs> Dude. Man. Oh my god, they passed turn. Easy. Easy. He heard my prayer. Thank you, Hercules. That's his name. You can't see it. Oh my god. <laughs> you must have heard my prayer. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's so stupid. Oh, what if there's a Niv in hand, though? That'd actually kind of suck. You know, is it really winning with Skull Servant if you just summon four Horus monsters and attack directly? I don't think that's really winning. Not the Imperm. He is holding on for dear life with a hundred life points. Honestly, respect. I could have went Mizuki, but I didn't want to get nibbed. I guess I'll have to show him my true power. Zombie Vampire! Or I can get Effect Failure too, that works. He's here for emotional support. It's just that easy. Can I please stop seeing my one of Horus monsters in my 60 card deck? I don't know what Valance does, so I'm just popping a Fuwalos. You know, I should be relishing every card I draw for a uh, Fuwalos right now because this is the closest I'll ever get to resolving the effect ever. One eternity later. Me 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 me. Me 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 me. What? Whoa! Oh my God! It's my turn. That's crazy! It's actually my turn. Holy shit! Okay. Uh. As you can see, we got a lot of cards off of Wallows. That is a Horn of Heaven, a Black Horn of Heaven, I think, specifically. We got an IP, we got a Nightmare Griffin. I don't think I care about most of these, so I'm going to go ahead and start popping the fuck off. But if I just start board spamming with Horus Monsters, what are you going to do? What are you going to do about it? I mean, you should have went IP into SP, get rid of the King Sark immediately. Oh, there's the black horn of heaven. Okay, so there's a white horn of heaven as well. That's fine. Uh, let's go. <laughs> the summon was negated. <laughs> and the way I'm said he's worth it. I can just do it again. <laughs> Dude, you have to get rid of this King Sark. You gotta. No? You're just gonna let me keep summoning monsters? Okay. Dude, did you know? Did you, did you know? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that wasn't even anything to do with the Skull Servant, so now I feel bad. Alright, we got one of my Twitter mutuals actually in here now, so I'm excited to see what she's cooking up. And, uh, okay, we actually have a Fuwalos. That's pretty dope. 
we might be able to get some stuff in here. Alright, refrain, searches, grab the thing, blah blah blah. I'll wait to chain to something with the Fuwalos. Kind of make it like a jump scare. And now we chain Fuwalos. <laughs> okay, uh, so this can actually be pretty helpful. I mean, Baka summons from deck. That's going to be another draw if she uses that. Uh, and then she's going to fuse into, like, probably at least the Bloom Harmonist. So that'll be another draw. So that'll be a good handful of cards in hand. That should be really, really helpful, uh, thankfully. I really need as many cards as I can get, especially against a deck with a bunch of bounces, because <laughs> they don't descend to the graveyard, so they can't trigger any of my effects. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let her pop off, and I'll uh, catch y'all when I'm about to pop off myself. All right, chat, I'm not going to lie. This hand kind of cooks. This hand kind of cooks. We have Azarune known, we have two face downs. Fuck it, let's shotgun this forbidden droplet. Let's send a white prince and a white baking and a cheb. And let's see what we can do with that. Okay, so we can actually turn off everything here, uh, which isn't like the most insane thing to be fair. Uh, we mostly just want to prevent like the IP. They, uh, she still has the Azarun and two unknown face downs, which could be things like Imperm. Uh, I'm not too worried about the one card in hand, honestly. I mean, even if it is like a hand trap, we do have called by. Uh, let's go ahead and dump our two things off White Prince. And then we get to add two things off of our other dude, our White Baking, which is an absolutely insane card, by the way, just saying. I'll go ahead and discard another White Prince. Use this White Prince. We're going to dump a bunch more dudes. Oh my god, are we actually going to finally pull off a stupid OTK with the Skull Serving cards themselves? That would be so peak. Alright, we do have to watch out here. Because we do have to at least get through the Azarun and stuff. And potential face downs before we can, like, actually do anything crazy. I'm going to go ahead and steal the Flamberge. If the Flamberge gets sent to the grave, we have called by to stop it. Uh, so I'm thinking we can go for something like an SP if we um, really want to start breaking apart the board because I want to get rid of those face down back row pieces and like the Azarun and stuff like that. Okay, so the Azarun getting activated here. Does it apply here? If so, I mean, I'm fine with that, honestly. Okay, no, it doesn't apply here immediately, I don't think. That's fine. That's totally fine. I'm going to go ahead and activate White Lord to mill even more cards. We're going to dump a whopping... Whoa, come on, come on. Click the right number. There we go. We're going to dump a whopping seven cards to the graveyard. There's going to be plenty more things to actually work with. I'm going to go ahead and go maybe... Ah, see, I hit the droplet when I used Nessie last time, and I don't want to do that again. That sucks. Okay. I'm going to go for a White Prince banishing another Skull Servant and Lady in White. Because we do have another White Mare. Might be seeing Azarune here to negate if that works that way. No? Okay. We'll drop another King of the Skull Servants. Man, this is why I shouldn't have taken out the second SP. The second SP would go so hard here. Wouldn't have to worry about, uh, so much about the Azarune being bait. Uh, let me go ahead and... Uh, 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 uh. Did we go White Lord yet? No, not yet. We'll go SP. Just to bait out the Flamberg so we can call by it and then start popping off with our Nessie at least, bare minimum. Uh, so let's go ahead... We're going to call by the Flamberge so we don't have to worry about it. I do not want to deal with that Flamberge personally. Going to be way too much board presence. 7,000 attack on our King of the Skull Servants. I don't want to get hit with an Imperm, that's for sure. Uh, let's go ahead and go White Mare. Special summon a monster again. We're going to summon our Lady in White. We're going to activate Danger Nessie next. And all we have to do is hit like one of these and we can do guaranteed game, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, are, are we actually going to do it, chat? I think we might be doing it. 
Okay, so we didn't hit- we hit the Nessie on accident, but we do have Bigfoot, so uh, if, the, if anything happens to the Bigfoot, then it's fine. Uh, if, like, if we pitch the Bigfoot, we can pop a card? Is it just a face-up? Okay, it is just a face-up. It's fine, though. Okay, 9,000 attack on this King of the Skull Servants, and the cool thing is, we haven't used our normal summon, so we can do it again if we want to. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. Do we have a third King of the Skull Servants in here? Oh my god! Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go all out. We do have the Lady in White. They're unaffected by spell and trap card effects. They cannot be destroyed by battle. Let's go ahead. Let's do it, chat. Let's do it. Let's go, King of the Skull Servants. Try and ram into things. And, uh... Gotcha, bitch. Unfortunately for you, Lady in White makes them unaffected. Let's go! <laughs> King of the Skull Servants, baby! <laughs> they were both imperms. Oh, I called it. Oh, good games, Kate. Good games. We finally got our get back. Well, folks, on this Halloween night, I'm hoping there's one thing that you can take from this video. And that's Skull Servants to the Moon, baby! Let's go!